I've finally been able to purchase Schploing. Omnipoyo is very sought after mango s'mores IPA. At least it's very sought after in New England because only a few tiny batches have been made in Boston for Omnipoyo by Dorchester Brewing Company. I don't know if it's readable very much, but Dorchester Brewing Company is in Southern Boston and they've been contract brewing a bunch of crazy different beers for brewers around the world and some really good ones too. I'm so glad they're doing this. They even contract brewed something for the Quebecois Brewery Hopfenstark, their Boson de Higgs, which is a smoked sour Saison that's low alcohol. And I thought I'd never see that beer again. And an equally weird one is this Schploing. And this is brewed to be influenced by uh, marshmallow fluff and all the things you can do with marshmallow fluff apparently. He Nick Fenty, the Omnipoyo guy, I guess like heard that marshmallow fluff was invented in Somerville nearby Boston. Actually I'm in Somerville right now and, and that's where he got the idea for this one. So there's, it's not a s'more like in chocolate s'mores, it's like the mango kind of replaces the chocolate uh, for, the, for the flavoring in this one, but it does have marshmallows, graham crackers, salt, and lactose sugar and then it says with mango and vanilla added. So when they add, they say at the end that things are added, I think that that means that those last two ingredients, mango and vanilla, are just put in the finished beer at the end, basically, whereas the other ones were actually used in the brewing process in some way. Like maybe they threw crushed up graham crackers in the, uh, in the boil with all the malt too. So this one I've actually had before. I split some with some friends when, who were able to get their hands on batch one of this beer. And I liked it quite a bit. I'm sure it'll still be good, but I wanted to do a review. It's 7% alcohol. And Omnipoil are known for their weird flavored IPAs. And this one is very thick looking, almost a gray grayness to it and how hazy it was. I don't, I don't remember it being this hazy in the first batch. I can smell it already. But Omnipoil are known for their smoothie and milkshake IPAs, and this is just kind of taking that idea um, to a slightly different place. Those ones all have like vanilla and lactose added to it, and Omnipoil does a lot of great things with adding sweet flavors and lactose to beers that don't usually have those. Um, and why not try this, this mango one? Yeah, it just smells like a very fruity, mangoey New England IPA at first. Oh, yeah, the mango is really strong, I feel like, in this batch. And I don't know how fresh it is, but it was just released this week. All it says is batch three on the bottom, so it's probably a couple days old. Yeah, it's big mango aroma. I'm, I, I'd be surprised if they didn't use citra or mosaic in this. And just a little bit of tartness from the actual mango that they use in there. And I don't know if I'm... I'm not smelling any graham cracker or anything like that right now. There's definitely some vanilla. Yeah, but not too much. Just just makes keeps it on the creamier side of mango. It's not ultra um, tart, I don't think. But it's a pretty pretty nice aroma. Still got a little ring ahead in there. Mmm full grainy body, similar to Trillium, but it has a little bit of some extra malt flavor. I assume it's the graham crackers doing something in there. And it finishes pretty bitter. Um, it gets, moves to the savory side and it's a little bit, um, you know, not dusty on the tongue, but a little chalky. I feel like this is a little more Intense on the first batch, maybe. At this point, I'm liking the aroma the most. It's just so fruity and sweet. And I guess it smells kind of like a, a mango smoothie. Um, not quite like a mango lossy. It's not tangy like that. Mm. Very nice. I'm, I'm noticing a little bit of a salty saline thing on the edges. I think they're trying to make that, I guess in a s'more, the, the graham crackers have a little bit of salt in them, but this is not definitely not salty like a Goza is. 
but then yeah, the, the, the finish is a little bit, it seems, it seems like it's a little bit too much sediment in there. Um, it's not as sweet as I remember the, the first batch. And the vanilla isn't, and I guess it's coming in. But at first the, 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 the bitterness takes a little, a little while to get used to and that chalkiness and it starts off really sweet and then dries out, gets kind of savory with a, a crackery graham cracker, but not very sweet graham cracker. And I don't know what the marshmallow is doing. Marshmallow is just adding some extra sugar. I guess it's probably fermented mostly, um, which a lot of these styles of beers, they do just add straight up sugar. <sighs> nice carbonation, but then but the finish is still, has some slightly savory thing. Um, and a little bit of a burn in the throat. It seems like it, this batch, done, something didn't work out quite perfectly. And also, I just noticed, like, there's, you can't quite see that well on the camera, but there's this residue building up on my glass. I wonder if that's just actual, like, straight up mango that's still in this beer. I have not had any beer do that before. This beer was glass, this glass was, was very beer clean. That is interesting. I like the beer a lot, even though it has a little bit of a harsh, burny, bitter thing. It's not, doesn't make it unpalatable. And it seems like maybe this, in this one, there's extra salt, um, along with the extra bitterness is making it more savory in the finish. I wish the vanilla were maybe a tad more noticeable that keep it on the sweeter side of things, carry that, that, you know, mango, s'more, mango, smoothie sort of aroma and flavor all the way to the end. But this is a really cool beer, and I think it's still done really well, even though there are some weird anomalies I'm experiencing that I don't remember from <clears throat> from the first batch. But we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll let some sit in the fridge and see if some of the sediment falls to the bottom, and that milds milds out the the feel and, and the burn in the back of the throat a little bit. Um, because it ends up, yeah, there's a bitterness, but it's a, it's a unique bitterness. It's not like a big in-your-face West Coast IPA bitterness. It's, um, yeah, pity fruit sort of thing in the finish. And, yeah, but it's really good. Um, I hope they, I, I think they're going to keep making this as a regular thing. It's the third batch they've made in a couple months. So maybe it'll be actually available for some people to get, especially through trading. Um, but I give it... At least this batch, maybe a slightly lower rating than the first batch, like a 80, 85 bags of popcorn or something like that. But I admire the the experimenting and having it all turn out pretty well. It's, there's there's it's only only just a little bit of a weird flaw on the finish. Otherwise, pretty darn good beer. Let me just pour the rest in there. Yeah, you can see this is really, really hazy. Oh, goodbye.